सब्सक्राइब कीजिए टेक अरोड़ा चैनल को और दबा दीजिए इस बेल आइकन को सारे टेक्नोलॉजी अपडेट्स अपने मोबाइल पर पाने के लिए एस दी क्वाक्स ओ एस वर्जन थ्री पॉइंट जीरो इज रिलीज इन द यू फॉरम्स विच इज़ द अपडेट फॉर द मोस्ट बिलवेड रोम क्वाक्स ओ एस वर्जन टू पॉइंट जीरो एंड द अपडेट इज हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस एंड बक फिक्स एंड विल पिक इन टू ऑल दीज चेंजेस इन दिस रिव्यू सो दिस इज योर होस्ट सजन अरोड़ा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग टेक योड़ा लेट स्टार्ट The first change is the biggest change that is the Android version and let me just show you the Android version is Marshmallow this time not the Lollipop. As you can see it is Marshmallow but the security patch level is still a bit outdated which may be the source problem and the kernel is of the Cyanogen mode kernel and this is all about the software information. If you guys have used the previous version of this ROM, you probably know this ROM is famous for its stability and very cool UI. And the update is obviously better than the previous version in each and every aspect. You get different apps and customization which make it a better and smart choice. As you can see here, there are a lot of apps, different apps I, I should say. First, let's just talk about the camera. You do get number of cameras and the first we will talk about is the Coolpad camera. Let me just launch. As you can see, it's the whole Coolpad camera. But the thing is, the click button is a bit upwards. I don't know why, but it looks a bit snappy. And that's now. Let's just talk about the another camera, which is the Snapdragon camera. As you can see, it is our old snappy camera, which is called Snapdragon camera. So this is about the camera. Now talking about the sound quality, you get support for the Dolby Atmos. As you can see, you can switch the Dolby Atmos on and off. And also you do get support for the Viper for Android. Let me just show you out. These two applications help you to get the most out of your device. So which is a very good thing and you won't face any issues with the sound quality. And there are also some personal add-ons by the developer which are working very fine as you can see all these apps like AR Fun, AR Effect, Background Defocus Camera and the Boost Plus, all these apps like iFont, Motion Shot and this Sticker Creator all are working very fine except a single application called the Defocus Camera. It just always stops and never opens. As you can see it says unfortunately the defocus cam is stopped. Maybe it is fixed in the next update and we have to wait for it. Also you do get a new video app but will not run this time because of the screen recording being running at the moment. As you can see simultaneously it cannot run. But the app is, but the app is actually cooler than any other video app. So this is a very good thing and all the videos run very fine. And as this ROM is based on the Cyanogen mode, so you will do get the support for the theme chooser. You can download and shop themes from the Play Store and set it to as you as you like. Let me just go back. So this is all about what you get in this ROM, and now let's just talk about the fixes. That is the Wi-Fi and the hotspot. And let me just show you that both are working very fine. Let me just turn on the Wi-Fi and as you can see it is searching for the Wi-Fi network. And let's just go to the hotspot. The tethering and the portable hotspot and let me just turn on the hotspot and as you can see it says portable hotspot Android AP is active. So which shows you guys that both are working and very fine and this is what we all want and the developer is done. So thanks to the developer. Also you do get the VOLT support and let me just show you that VOLT is working very fine. And as you can see I am calling from Geo 4G and it is the Geo helpline number. And as you can see it is connected. 
but the thing is there is no VLT support that is no video calling directly through the dialer so you have to use the other video calling applications such as Geo4G voice or any other application for the video calling now let's just talk about the customizations let's go into the quark edition and you do get support for the sony image enhancement tool which really makes our images look pretty colorful and vivid as i said there is a support for dolby atmos and the viper for android also you do get support for the visualizer let's you do get support for changing the visualizer there are a lot of options and you can set to what you love and also you can customize your quarks like the status bars, lock screen and fonts let's just go to status bar and as you can see there are different battery logos let me just turn the quark battery off and on the circle battery as you can see the Xperia battery and the USB but I personally love the quark source battery so this is about the status bar and you can also customize your lock screen by these settings also you do get support for the fonts through the iPhone tab and you can change your font what you love so this is about the fonts now let's just talk about through all these settings you will not face any of the problems in customizing your device so this is all about the customizations also you do get support for the kernel control as you can see this is all about the kernel information and you can tweak your kernel according to you so this is about also so this is about the kernel also you do get support for the ad blocker let me just show you as you can see it says add away and it asks for the root give the root access you can enable it and use the ad blocker theme support as we have said already and you also get the support for the gestures and let me just tell you that all the gestures are working very fine i have tried all the gestures and they are all working very fine also you do get support for the ambient display so as you can see this is a very good feature and i personally love this feature and now let's just talk about the battery backup and for those who are the battery lovers this rom is very fine and works very fine in terms of the battery backup as you can see also the gaming performance of this rom is very fine let me just show you my battery backup of the world of cricket and it is around one hour and it used around 11 percent only and let me just show you the screen on time it is around two hours five minutes and it just takes eight percent only so which is a very good thing and this rom is performing very well in terms of the battery backup also you do get support for the battery saver which is also a good option but not a new option now talking about the root access you will get the root access in the developer options of this rom and to activate the developer options you have to tap on the kernel version sorry the build, build number seven times and going to the developer options here you will find the root access as you can see you can set to any of these three and use the root access as you want so this is about the root access so this is all about my review guys hit the like button if you did share this video as much as you can and do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching guys bye bye